Uh, hi everyone. So Intelligent Octopus is a bit uh, tricky sometimes to get to set up. So I thought I would just show my workaround of how I got it set up on my Warbox Pulsar Plus. And you might see some blurring on the screen where I like uh, blur out some of like the unique identifiers for my stuff. Um, but uh, hopefully this will be helpful to everyone because it's a bit of a pain and I'll blabber on about um, why Intelligent Octopus is cheaper than Go uh, and why you get a longer time period uh, and what you need to do. So we'll just click in to connect to my charger and hopefully I'm close enough for Bluetooth because my Wi-Fi is a bit weak apparently. So here you go. So this is what it looks like. Uh, after you've got everything set up and everything's working fine, you'll notice I've got no schedules because you're not really supposed to have any schedules. Uh, and you can see that it's on the OCPP. So this is Octopus to control and things. Uh, and the unlocky charger thing doesn't matter. I've never had any problems with this. It does say unlocky charger, uh, but uh, I've just ignored that and everything's been fine. So where you put everything in is, if you're in the Octopus app, it'll have given you details of how to control this via OCPP. So you first come on to here, and I'll blur out my numbers, but essentially it wants you to put a, UR a URL in, it wants you to give a charge point identity, and it wants you to put in a password, so obviously I'm going to knock these off. Um, and all I had to do was do this twice, because uh, the first time didn't work, uh, and it wasn't because I typed in anything wrong. I just re-clicked, I've accepted the terms and conditions, and I'll press save again at the bottom, and everything worked fine. After you do that, and you do press save, then the charger will restart. And you get a message that comes up here that says, charger will restart, this takes five minutes. And if you wait a couple of minutes, you log back onto the Warbox app and it says three minutes or two minutes or one minute, or that it's working. And then when it's working, it looks a little bit like this. Occasionally I see a lock icon or a little padlock up here uh, that goes along with this. Uh, but you don't actually need to worry about that. When I first saw that, I thought, oh, that's funny. Let's try and get rid of that. Let's press something. Uh, you know, it just sets your anxiety if you don't know what's happening. Um, but it's fine. You don't need to worry about that. Mine's working okay. Uh, you can add schedules every now and again. And so, you know, we might do it from uh, only in the cheap hours or something like that. Uh, but the problem with doing this is it's in the Octopus Terms of Condition uh, that they need to be able to control the charger completely. And if you add a schedule, they can't control the charger completely, at least once a month or once every 30 days. And so you can do this, uh, I don't know, for three weeks out of four or for 29 days out of 30 and just remember to turn it off once. But actually I haven't had any bother at all with letting Octopus just do what they want. Uh, now, I guess I'll show you what you're supposed to do and what's supposed to happen. I've got a problem with my smart meter at the moment. Um, so it's my Octopus app isn't quite working as it should. Um, so when it's all set up and working, you should have devices here and this should work. And in this screen, somewhere in here, you get to say what state of charge you want and what time you want it by. And then once you've plugged in, you will have charging slots come up. So if you need the full six hours, uh, because, you know, you drive, I don't know, uh, what, six by seven, that's, uh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Um, maths, 49, 42 kilowatt hours. If you need 42 kilowatt hours, it just will fill up the battery uh, from half 11 till half five, and that's you done. Uh, but if you need uh, slightly more than that, um, then if your car's asking for more than you could ever possibly get in your six hour time slot, then you'll have to pay the high rate uh, beforehand. Uh, and so, yeah, okay, the charger will get you to uh, whatever percentage you've demanded, um, but you'll get excess energy from before half 11, and if that's because you need more than you could possibly get in that time slot, then you'll be charged at a higher rate. But if you plug in early, say at five when you get home, and you don't need more than the maximum you can get, but it's cheaper for Octopus to deliver it at six o'clock, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, because I don't know, it's really windy, um, and it won't be later, uh, then they will um, deliver it when it's cheapest for them, even outside of your six hour time frame from half 11 till half five. Um, and then your whole house will benefit from uh, the cheap rate. So, you know, make whatever your fridge or your cooker or your dishwasher or your washing machine is using outside those hours cheaper than uh, it would do otherwise. Um, 
So yeah, I just had a couple of problems. I had to do this twice. I had to repress this. Uh, but after that, everything worked just fine. Um, so hopefully this will be a workaround that works for someone else and this video uh, helps you. Um, so hopefully when you see something like this, everything will work for you too. Good luck, everyone.